morning, everyone. Welcome to Knowledge and Relationships. This is your boy, M3, with another video that I would like to share, and it's called Money and Relationships. So I'm going to want to get to the point. I'm not going to do like this long intro or explanation. I'm just going to get straight to it. So I had a, a, a loyal um, supporter who wanted me to talk about money and relationships. And for me, as I could take it as, she's probably like wondering what makes the relationship change based on the financial status of a person. So in other words, Usually when um, a woman asks these type of questions, usually they're like already successful. And this person who asked me this question is a successful um, uh, woman. So by that, I could already assume that she has been in different relationships where she's the breadwinner and relationships you know in dating just wasn't up to par you know probably during her past time but anyways <clears throat> not saying that she's going through it now but i'm just assuming about this stuff so i'm just gonna give you my personal opinion remember everybody it's just my opinion to it that doesn't mean that i'm right and it doesn't mean that i'm wrong i'm just giving you my opinion on this so when it comes to money and relationships, um, you know, back then, you know, our grandfathers, our parents, um, for men, used to be, uh, you know, potential breadwinners. And so the relationship dynamic was always the man that's working and the woman stays home, cooks, cleans, takes care of the kids. Hold on, I need to pause real quick. My lips is looking kind of dry. Hold on. All right, I'm back. My bad, y'all. You know, I can't just be talking on the camera and have like dry, like crusty lips. Not that my lips wasn't feeling crusty, but I was just feeling dry and I just wasn't feeling comfortable with it. But hold on, let me, uh... back then, our parents, uh, you know, like I said, you know, our, our, our dads, our grandfathers, there was potential breadwinners. And so back in those days, um, men had a lot of security when it comes to marriage, which why, you know, the marriage rate was so high back then. But nowadays, um, which is, is, is good for women, because now they have you know, equal opportunities for themselves like to work. But also the downside is that the reason why they are working is because the economy, you know, it just, it just all over the place. You know, it's not the same like as it used to be because due to inflation going up and our paychecks is just like, this is our paychecks. This is inflation. So our paychecks is like this inflation it's just going up, 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 up. Paycheck going up. Inflation up, 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 up. Paycheck going up like this. And so when the paycheck, when your paycheck is not catching up to the inflation of what's going on, you know, in this world, then it's like it it, it makes it hard for a man alone, especially with a family as well, too, to take care of the household. And now the woman you know, not only she does the, the cooking and cleaning, but she's also working as well, too. And on top of that, you know, both parents are taking care of the kids. So you, you, you get where I'm coming from. Um, even worse, a lot of times um, women have a lot of good, high paying jobs. Well, careers. They have a lot of good careers going on. And... Men are like, now these days, they're not, 
the majority of them are not, um, you know, they're not educated. Not that I'm calling men stupid, but what I'm saying is like they don't have the the degree, you know, or they don't have like the skill or the trade to, you know, be like a top, you know, a top earner. And not even just like a top earner, but just having some type of stability to provide for your family. So if if your wife as the breadwinner gets sick or is unable to work, you're still able to help take care of your family with your paycheck alone. Because quite frankly, you know, like, uh, you know, we don't have, and shoot, actually this has been cut off like since like, I want to say the late 80s or the early 90s, somewhere between that, where like trade schools that were once free were, were is already has already been cut off. So you have to pay for those trades or you have to go to school to get some type of education. And some people are not really fortunate enough to really afford to be able to take those type of trades. So at, going for it, as you kind of see, and there's still more things to it as well, too. I'm still talking about money and relationships, but I'm, gonna I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm breaking everything down to you. You also have to understand the mindset, too. Ah, oh, dang, come on. There we go. Hold on for a second. I'm trying to get some color. I'm, like, looking all white. All right, so <clears throat> you have to understand the mindset of men and women now in these days. And I'm not talking about black men and black women. I'm talking about all men and all women. You have to understand that in this day and age, men are more feminized than ever. You know, we're not like, well, I'm not putting myself into it, but the majority of men of my age and, you know, the millenniums, like the younger, um, you know, people, they're not like our dads or our grandparents. They're, you know, they let society and most of them, who's been raised by like, you know, single mothers and took all the emotional traits from them and not like a lot from, you know, hardworking dads. You have to understand that men are more feminized and because of that, and women are more masculine now these days, it, they, they already feel that they don't really need a man. And like I said, it, it ties in with the financial aspects because think about this. I know a lot of men complain, you know, and they'll say like, well, a woman should accept me for who I am or, you know, or she's just being bougie or this, this and that. But you have to understand, put yourself in their shoes. How would you feel and as, as, as a person, right? You work so hard for your career and now you're, you're, you're up there as far as making a potential income, but yet you have somebody who expects you to accept their current financial status. Some of them don't even have jobs and have the nerve to want like the baddest woman that they could get. Some of them, like, in no disrespect, I mean, hey, if you're working, I mean, cool. But there's always room and growth to do better. So in, so in relation to that, um, even if you're like the, 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 the nicest guy, let's just say, like, you, you don't have, like, no high expectations. You're just like, look, I just want to have a cool girl that I could just be with, someone that's going to love me for me. And all that. Well, let's say you find somebody who actually loves you for you, despite on your potential earnings income. But yet this woman, you know, she's super successful on a financial scale. Like she worked her way up. You know, she's probably like a a um, 
a HR manager. Well, let's just say this woman's making over a uh, hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars like a year, and you're making like you know the regular five figures. Unfortunately, men have to be honest with themselves because even if you get with that person who accepts you for you, you most likely will blow that chance with that woman. And it's because that you feel like as a man that you have not elevated to your highest potential. Let me tell you this. In relationships, money matters. Yes, looks matters, status matters, your charisma, your personality matters. All that stuff matters for a man. But what matters the most, the number one thing that matters the most is money. Because money determines your financial stability. Matter of fact, you could have, you could be making a hundred figures a year. So, <laughs> I mean, you could be making six figures, a hundred thousand dollars like a year. Let me want to say this. You're going to be making one hundred thousand dollars a year. But if you're living with your mom, ain't no way in hell a woman's going to be like, you know, looking at you like that. Now, you could be making $90,000 like a year, but if you have your own place, you know, uh, a good savings, you're just, you know, you're very stable, the chances are you'll have a higher chance to get with that woman that you want versus a man who's making, you know, a hundred, you know, thousand dollars or $120,000 a year, but you're still living with your mom. You know what I mean? So money does matter still, but... The reason why it matters, it also matters of how you're using, utilizing your money. So I just want to make sure I make that clear because I don't want you thinking that, okay, um, I could like, you know, uh, live in a basement or I could live in my mom's house as long as I have like a lot of money. It, 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 like I said, I don't want to get nobody confused on this one. It's money matters, but as a man, you still have to be uh financially stable financially independent you got to have your own place you got to have your own car you know what i mean even if you live in an apartment it doesn't matter it's just that you have to be on your own doing your own thing making your own potential income that's what women really see for a man but I want to get more to the insecurity part. Um, men will still tend to get insecure if they're not at is at their fur at their furthest financial potential. So it, it doesn't even matter if if you're messing with a with a bad chick or you're messing with a mediocre woman. If that woman is making more than you and doing better than you, as a man, you just wouldn't really feel settled in your mind. And eventually your insecurities will start to project in a relationship and then it will still come to ruins. Meaning you will basically self-sabotage your own relationship due to your own insecurities about your finances. And that's what's going on now these days when it comes to money in relationships because quite frankly in this case women are um doing well for themselves uh the majority of them are making more than men and men need to step up to the plate and stop whining stop crying you know don't be boohooing if this woman treat doesn't well don't be boohooing if this woman don't have respect for you, what you need to do is have respect for yourself first. Get on your purpose. I know most people probably hear this like a lot when they go on YouTube and look for dating advice. And you probably hear this constantly. Get on your purpose. 
The reason why I'm telling you to get on your purpose is because it is validating. When you get on your purpose, you're building yourself up. That's part of self-improvement. So the things that I'm passing down to you is based off of self-improvement. And one of the things for men, in order for you to self-improve, you need to focus on your purpose. That is also another reason why um, for men, you could find the right girl that loves you for you. But if, like I said, if you're not up to your highest earning potential, if you're not up to like your highest self, then you will still need to focus on your purpose. And sometimes you may have to pass up that opportunity in order for you to be financially stable. So other than that, like, comment, subscribe. Give me your honest opinion for guys, girls. You know, let me know what you guys think, what your girls think. If there's anything that I missed, if it was something that was unclear, please post your comments under YouTube. Don't come to me personally. Type it down on YouTube and let me know. Have a good day and see you next time. Peace. Oh, my God.